The question is that Amendment 14406.3 in the name of Jenny Gilruth, which seeks to amend Motion 14406 in the name of Liam Kerr on free school meals for all primary pupils be agreed and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Angela Constance for a point of order. Sit, presiding officer, I have a very poor connection and couldn't uh, connect to vote on my mobile device, so uh, I would have voted yes for the amendment in the name of Jenny Gilruth. Thank you, Ms Constance. We'll ensure that is recorded. And I call Sue Webber for a point of order. Uh, thank you, presiding officer. My app wouldn't connect and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms. Weber. We will ensure that your vote is recorded, and I call Liz Smith for a point of order. Uh, thank you. My uh, connection is not working, and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms. Smith. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 14406.3 in the name of Jenny Gilruth is yes 62, no 64. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 14406.2 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy, which seeks to amend motion 14406 in the name of Liam Kerr on free school meals for all primary pupils be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed.
The result of the vote on amendment number 14406.2 in the name of Pam Duncan Clancy is yes 63, no 63. There were no abstentions. The vote is therefore tied and as is usual when the Parliament has not been able to reach a decision I am obliged to exercise a casting vote. Um, I will not make the deci decision for the Parliament and the established convention is to vote in favour of the status quo because the Chair is required to act impartially. Therefore I cast my vote against the amendment and the amendment is therefore not agreed to. Now the next question is that motion 144 06 in the name of Liam Kerr on free school meals for all primary pupils be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Claire Hawhey for a point of order. Thank you, President Officer. I was unable to connect in the app. I would have abstained. Thank you, Ms Hawhey. We'll ensure that is recorded. It's just not... I call Paul O'Kane for a point of order. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Um, my app froze. I just want to check that my uh, vote yes was recorded. I can confirm, Mr O'Kane, that your vote was indeed recorded. Thank, Thank you, you. Presiding Officer. The result of the vote on motion 14406 in the name of Liam Kerr is yes, 64, no, 2. There were 60 abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 14405.3 in the name of Fiona Hislop which seeks to amend motion 14405 in the name of Graham Simpson on ending peak rail fares on ScotRail trains be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. I call Katie Clark for a point of order. I would have voted no. I can confirm, Ms Clark, that your vote was recorded. I call Annie Wells for a point of order. My app wouldn't open. Um, I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms <coughs> Wells. We'll ensure that is recorded. And I call Claire Hawhey for a point of order. Thank you, President Officer. I'm unsure if my vote was recorded. I can confirm that your vote has been recorded. Thank you. Thank you. The result of the vote on amendment number 14405.3 in the name of Fiona Hislop is yes 62, no 64. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 14405.2 in the name of Alec Rowley, which seeks to amend motion 14405 in the name of Graham Simpson on ending peak rail fares on ScotRail trains, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Can I just confirm we are all agreed? Yes. Thank you. The amendment is therefore agreed. And the next question is that motion 14405 in the name of Graeme Simpson as amended on ending peak rail fares on ScotRail trains be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Alex Cole Hamilton. My app tells me I've lost connection. Can I just check my vote was registered? Your vote has been registered, Mr Cole Hamilton. The result of the vote on motion 14405 in the name of Graham Simpson as amended is yes 64, no 62. There were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. Thank you. I propose to ask a single question on two parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. Therefore, the question is that motions 14419 on committee membership and 14420 on substitution on committees in the name of Jamie Hepburn on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motions are therefore agreed. And that concludes decision time. And we will now move on. Point of order, Willie Rennie. Um, I think it would be wrong to let this moment pass. Um, this is a significant moment that the government has lost two votes on manifesto promises. And therefore, have you, indicate, have you had any indication from the government that they are planning to make a statement before the end of the week? Mr Rennie, I am in no doubt whatsoever that you know that that is not a point of order. 
That concludes decision time. We will now move on to members' business and I ask members who are leaving the chamber to do so quietly.